If you're Asian or Caucasian, your ancestors interbred with Neanderthals as recently as 37,000 years ago, when they crossed paths in Europe. Neanderthals were not the direct ancestors of our own species, but our distant cousins. They were already living in Europe by the time our ancestors arrived. About 40,000 years ago, and there seems to have been interbreeding. As most Europeans and Asians have some Neanderthal genes lurking in their DNA between 1 and 2% of the total sum up to 4%. The amount varies depending on our heritage. Some of the Neanderthal DNA we carry around did contribute to our physical characteristic, well-being and to propensity for one or another illness. Neanderthals were genetically different but, nonetheless, the closest relative to modern humans. Only one Neanderthal's blood had been typed in the past, and was found to be type O under the ABO system used to classify the blood of modern humans. People with two Neanderthal genes have heads that are flatter on top and more elongated like those of Neanderthals themselves. The effect is too small to be seen with the naked eye, but shows up on brain scans. The modern versions of the genes seem to make certain parts of the brain work more effectively. If you look at a Neanderthal skeleton next to a modern human skeleton, the Neanderthal looks stocky, barrel prominent chested, and rather brutish, standing at no more than 1.70 meters. They were not particularly tall, but their physique was muscular strong and powerful, the males weighing up to 90 kilos. East Asians seem to have the most Neanderthal DNA in their genomes, followed by those of European ancestry. Africans, long thought to have no Neanderthal DNA, were recently found to have genes from the hominins comprising around 0.3% of their genome. Neanderthal genes are thought to be linked to a number of different traits in humans. Several genes that humans received from Neanderthals also seem to play a role in the immune system, protecting us against certain diseases. These genes make proteins that search the human body for harmful bacteria and viruses. They might help protect us from some pathogens, for example, but also make us more susceptible to heart disease. Neanderthal DNA also plays a role in hair color and texture, our sense of smell, height and even our sleeping patterns, to some extent. Those genetic variants are associated with a preference for staying up late and napping during the daytime hours. While researchers have discovered Neanderthals gave us disease genes, when considering the directionality. Neanderthal variants generally increased risk for sunburn, balding, larger lung capacity, and younger menopause. It was found that Neanderthal passed on variants involved in type 2 diabetes, Crohn's disease smoking addiction, autoimmune diseases, and prostate cancer. Neanderthal's genetic inheritance associated with an increased level of chronic depression. Increased frequency of feeling unenthused and apathetic. After all, with each generation these genes are mutated. Some disappeared over time but other variants increased until they were common enough to become part of the human population's genetic signature.